Hello there, welcome to Shine Tech's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to go through pathology multiple choice questions. And this is general pathology. So, question one regarding chemical mediators of inflammation A. Nitric oxide results in vessel dilation. B. Source of serotonin is platelet. C. Histamine results in vascular leakage and D, they mediate perception of pain. So regarding chemical mediators of inflammation, so which one here is a correct statement? So nitric oxide results in vessel dilation. This is true. And the source of serotonin is platelet, which is also true. Serotonin is derived from, uh, it is derived from tryptophan, an amino acid tryptophan and it is produced or produced by the platelet okay and then c histamine results in vascular leakage yes it causes endothelial cells to contract and that will result in vascular permeability which is also called vascular leakage so histamine so this is also correct and d they mediate perception of pain so we have uh, chemical mediators of inflammation such as prostaglandins E2 which senses pain so D as well is correct so in this case question one all these statements here are correct regarding the uh, chemical mediators of inflammation all of them they are correct so question two cardinal signs of inflammation include all the following except cardinal signs of inflammation include all the following except a rubber b dollar c tumor d pillar so rubber is readiness so readiness is a cardinal sign of inflammation b we have uh, dollar dollar is pain so it is also a cardinal sign of inflammation C tumor tumor is also a cardinal sign tumor that is swelling or edema which are the cardinal signs of inflammation but the question here is asking for a requesting for an exception so an exception here is D so the correct answer is D which is an exception so Pella is not among the cardinal signs of inflammation so here the exception is D Question three, in inflammation, pain is due to A, white blood cells, B, readiness, C, mediators of inflammation, D, pressure on nerve endings in affected area. So uh, in inflammation, pain is due to mediators of inflammation and pressure on nerve endings in affected area. Mediators of inflammation such as prostaglandins E2 causes pain. Okay, so the correct answers are C and D for question 3. Question 4. Which of the following are preformed mediators of inflammation? A. Prostaglandin. B. Serotonin. C. Leucotrin. D. Histamine. So for this question, you must understand the preformed and the newly synthesized inflammatory mediators. So in this diagram here, we have inflammatory mediators. And inflammatory mediators are grouped into two. We have what we call cell-derived, which are derived from the cell. And then we have plasma-derived inflammatory mediators. So the cell-derived cell inflammatory mediators are further divided into preformed and newly synthesized so the preformed inflammatory mediators are the histamine and serotonin and then newly synthesized we have nitro nitric oxide arachidonic acid metabolites so arachidonic acid metabolites we have prostaglandins we have thromboxen a2 and we also have leukotrienes so those are arachidonic acid metabolites they are derived from arachidonic acid then we have chemokines we have cytokines and then we have platelet activating factor and then we have reactive oxygen species which are um, react uh, reactive oxygen species 
which are also inflammatory remediators okay so the question is asking which which one is a preformed mediator here so the preformed mediators as we have seen there we have serotonin and histamine so the correct answer is b and d b and d are preformed the rest are newly synthesized glucotrins are arachidonic acid metabolite and prostaglandins so this is how prostaglandin and leukotrienes are synthesized so what happens is that we have phospholipids so these phospholipids are going to be converted into arachidonic acid by the enzyme phospholipase a2 or phospholipase c so once phospholipids have been converted to arachidonic acid so this arachidonic acid can undergo three uh, four pathways so four pathways but the most important pathways are these two which are listed here we have the first one which is the cyclooxygenase pathway and we have what we call lipooxygenase pathway so if arachidonic acid goes uses this um pathway which is cyclooxygenase pathway what will be formed is prostaglandin and thrombo thromboxin a2 but if it goes or it is utilized using this other pathway which is lipooxygenase pathway then what will be produced are what we call local trains so local trains are going to be produced so these are newly synthesized okay so they are newly synthesized leukotrienes and prostaglandins are newly synthesized but the ones which are performed are b and g which are so in this case b and d are the correct answers question five in acute inflammation all of the following are true except there is a there is contraction of endothelial cells b there is mononuclear infiltration c there is induction of adhesion molecules on endothelium d cytokines induce a systemic acute phase response so in acute inflammation all of these are all true except which one so the exception here is b there is a mononuclear infiltration so this uh, do not, uh, doesn't take place during inflammation so it is an exception a there is contraction of endothelial cells so when histamine and serotonin uh, acts on endothelial cells they are going to contract and cause what we call vascular leakage or vascular permeability so that one is true the exception here is b then c there is induction of adhesion molecules on endothelial endothelium so there will be formation of adhesion molecules such as selectin e selectin p and we also have what we call icam and pcam so those are adhesion molecules which are going to be formed on endothelium on endothelium so that is also true then cytokines induce a systemic acute phase re response so cytokines such as uh, such as local trends okay they are going to cause what we call an acute phase response they are going to cause an acute phase response so the only exception here is b so we move on to question six the following are aspects of a disease process that form the core of pathology except a etiology b morphologic change changes significance c clinical and d prognosis so the exception here is prognosis it is not among the core of pathology okay the a disease process that form the core of pathology are etiology morphologic change and clinical significance okay except prognosis is not a core 
of pathology in disease process okay so we move on to question seven so the correct answer here is d d is an exception question seven which of the following is true about transjet a high specific gravity b low protein content c high cellular content and d may be caused by inflam by infection so a transudet it is a a fluid okay it is a fluid which do uh, which does not contain proteins okay so that such kind of a fluid has a low specific gravity not high specific gravity and it also has what we call low protein content it has low protein content that is a transudet okay so the only correct answer concerning a transudet here is low protein content it has low protein content so that is the correct answer may be caused by infection so a transudet cannot be caused by infection why because um, if it is caused by an infection then we are going to have infiltration of food uh, complement proteins and also we have cells okay we have neutral fuels macrophages which are going to go there to to seize the infection so that now that fluid will be called called an ex student ex exudent not a transudent so a transudent may be may not be caused so it is not caused by an infection in most cases okay so the correct answer here is B. Question 8. Local trains play a role in all of the following except A. Chemotaxis B. Vasoconstriction C. Platelet aggregation D. Phagocytosis So local trains are going to play a role in all of these except platelet aggregation and phagocytosis. So C and D are the exceptions. The correct answer here is C and D. Okay, they can act as chemotactants, uh, and then they can also be vasoconstrictors, but not platelet aggregation and phagocytosis. Okay, so the one which act as a chemotactic agent is locotrin B4. It is going to cause chemotaxis of neutrophils to the affected area and they also cause vasoconstriction. But platelet aggregation and phagocytosis are the exceptions in this case. Question 9. In acute inflammation, which events occur in the correct chronological order? So during acute inflammation, what happens is that the first thing what should happen is trans, trans, transient vessel constriction will take place followed by vessel dilation and then stasis of blood blood flow and then increased permeability that is the order now a we have transient vessel constriction then followed by stasis that is wrong okay b we have transient transient vasoconstriction and then we are uh, followed by increased permeability vasodilation now uh, that is a very long order why because increased permeability should uh, vasodilation should come first okay should be followed by increased permeability then c if we have vasodilation followed by increased permeability then stasis of blood flow uh, after that we have neutral fuel accumulation so c is the correct answer vessel dilation then after that we have increased permeability then the increased permeability is going to cause vessel dilation itself is going to cause stasis of blood flow then increased permeability is going to cause neutral fuel accumulation so the correct order is C. C is the correct answer. Question 10. Which of the following are systemic factors that influence tissue repair? Systemic factors that influence tissue repair. So A, ischemia. B, hormones. C, 
metabolic status and g location so the systemic factors which may uh, wish influence tissue repair are hormone and metabolic status which is b and c so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment concerning this video in the comment section below